Hi guys, I'm <coughs> sorry. Hi guys, I'm Dog Paul, and today I'm going to be shows. So you all know this. Well, most of you probably know this. The normal standard Xbox One S controller. It's normal. It's got the normal A, A X B Y. Normal thumbsticks. Normal no grabs. Normal D pad. Normal triggers. Normal bumpers, normal wirelessness, normal startup button, normal normal battery cartridge, normal everything. And some of you might know this. My custom Xbox One S controller. I made it. Well, I didn't make it, but I, ha I ordered it with these custom colors. Yellow on top, and the rest orange and blue. The only difference in performance is it has these grips, but they're not actual grips on the handles. They're just kind of like textures, sort of. Um, and also, the thumbsticks have grips. And maybe buttons are the same. They're essentially the same, and except for this part. This one's just a normal black on this part and this is more of a matte glossy gray matte glossy that's kind of contradicts itself and um some of you guys also might know this the xbox 360 controller it's really old um it has these weird thumbsticks it has this d-pad which can like kind of like do this, but it's kind of awkwardish. The XBY feel the same. I prefer the colors on black and just the whole thing being a color. But that's just my opinion. Uh, this and plus on this one, it's more subtle. The startup button. This one, this one, it's bulging out. Plus, I like how this one, how these ones have this top part up here, but this one doesn't. But this one's kind of scrunched up. I feel like I'm kind of like scrunched a little bit, whereas this one I can just go ahead and hit that, and this you touch to turn off and turn on and off. Um, it is wireless, so it did have wirelessness back then. And um, here's the LB and RB, pretty similar. Uh, they're a little smaller. The same with the triggers there. Actually, the triggers are slightly different because as you can see, these ones are, these ones take up this big space and these ones are small. And also, I have two Xbox 360 controllers. And back here is the battery cartridge, which is, I'm not sure what this, that's what you call it, but it's what, but it's what I'm going to call it for the remainder of this video. We just press down this button and should... Out comes that and it's I like um, and you can slide it right on back in with these and I like these ones for one reason because when you take off the battery cartridge the batteries stay in there unlike falling out with the other one and also it's not like it flies everywhere you can just easily snap on and snap off Also, um, with the battery cartridge again, this one's like big and bulky, it's like out there. Um, and this one, it's just in there with the controller. Also, this one does not have a headphone jack, unless that's a headphone jack, which I don't think that is. Well, this one and this one do. However, if you have a dongle, I think it would probably work with this. You could plug it into that and do it that way. So, overall, I think I would probably rank them like this. This one's probably the best. It has, it's customized. You can get this. Um, now they have features where you can get rubberized grips, you can get metallic D pad, you can get metallic triggers. I probably would have gotten that, but. It didn't exist back then. 
but I'm still happy with this. And this controller is pretty normal. It also has this normal D-pad. And the D-pad on this one, I think I like it more because it's pretty, it feels really natural and it simultaneously lets you go diagonal as well. Whereas this one, you can go diagonal, but you kind of have to like put your finger in there and it's like kind of awkward. Sometimes the left one will hit one or the other, or sometimes your like finger will slip and another hit the thumbstick or this thumbstick if you're, or the slide off the back plate. No, that's, that's not gonna happen, but it might like, you might be like playing and Let's assume that I'm trying to do this, and I can go boop, 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 which is, but that's much easier to do with this one where you go boop, boop. So, I think I prefer the D-pad on this one. For this one, this is menu. This is start. Actually, I think this is start, and this is menu. I don't know, one of them or the other. And, but on this one, it's back and start. Um, and on this one, they're also labeled, and they just have arrows. And this one, they just have these little pictures. And as far as the wireless, um, I'm fine with that. And I like the, uh, again, I like the, but the looks of the buttons on this, of the AXBY on this more. But, um, they feel pretty much the same. Like, this one's more of a deeper pull. It's more of a deeper push. But it's a good trip, so it takes long, slightly longer. But I think it's a good trade off. Actually, it takes a little bit shorter now that I'm actually doing this. Um, so, yeah, it's also more comfortable. And these ones are kind of like this one is kind of bent down, whereas this one is just more extent out. It's kind of bending down a little bit, but not as much. Also, in gravy, it says Laser Shirt 72 because that's my Xbox username. And again, the battery cartridges, I prefer this one more, because this one, you have to like, pull it out, and, see like these will fall on out. No fallout, pun intended. I don't even play that game, nor do I know really anything about that. Um, and this one, again, you just pull it out, and right there they stay in, you just pop them out, pop them in, just like that. So overall, I rank them like this, again, even though I already said that. First place is this guy, second place is this guy, third place is this guy. You probably expected there to be it be like this, but yeah, and I may be getting a new kind of controller that not many people are gonna expect me to get soon. We'll see that when we get it, if I do. But, and, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it inspires you what console and now actually never mind about the conclusion. Sorry, I'm not that high quality of a YouTuber on 10, so yeah, as you would expect. So now that I mentioned price, I honestly have no idea how much an Xbox 360 controller is. This is what? I think it's 60, 65 dollars. This is if you get it can be 70 to 90, I don't know, 97, around a hundred dollars depending on what parts you get customized and what parts you don't. So, yeah. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you know which ones to get and which consoles they can be used for. Obviously, Xbox 360, Xbox One. The Xbox One comes with this, not this. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and subscribe, or I will blow you up with C4.